It's in great. I'm back with a haul today. I got some things I ordered from Target online. I have the Jergens Cloud Cream, nice lotion. So far, I am enjoying it. It absorbs pretty nicely. I have the Aqua Four, and this is the um, healing ointment that Jessica Braun recommends using on your lips. So if you're ever wondering about that and haven't been able to find it, we're gonna try that. As a matter of fact, I'm getting into it right now because I like to have a little something, comes in a little tube like that. And I like to have a little something on my lips as I'm getting ready. It just kind of helps prepare them for whatever lip product I put on, gloss or whatever. So I do have something new for my lips. So this is just kind of, this just feels nice. I like that. That feels nice going on for while I'm getting ready. I also have the number seven full 360 mascara. Interested in trying this. I've heard really good things about it. And then from Amazon, I got the, um, have you guys heard of Clio Cosmetics? I think it was Tati was recommending them. This is uh, their eyeshadow palette and it's called Walking on the Kossi Alley. Am I missing something there? Anyway, it's <laughs> really pretty and right up my alley as far as colors go. Sort of the basic stuff that I gravitate towards if I'm gonna do eyeshadow. So I'm excited to use that. Tati recommended it and I am stoked about it. I also have something from Julep. I was looking for a new um, lip balm that would leave just a little bit of color behind. So we're gonna try this one out. This is in the color Cherrywood Cream. I'm a little nervous about that because I don't really like a, a bright red. I don't know, we'll see how it goes on. And then this guys, this is the scary stuff right here. <laughs> I thought, wouldn't it be fun to try out some eyebrow stencils. So I got the Kimoose. That's the brand. This is all off of Amazon. You can search it in your store and uh, maybe someday I'll learn how to share links for things on here. But this is the Kimoose in blonde. And if you watched my eyebrow video, you know how I feel about blonde brow products. So this is their actual stamp that goes on and you hold the stencil up over I guess there's like I don't know six or seven different shapes of stencils in here and you st uh, stamp the product on over the stencil and then brush it through with these little um, brushes that they send with it so so I was getting these stencils out to show you guys there's 10 different styles that you can do they're a little big um, I'm a little concerned, but okay. And the idea is you take it and you do the right brow with one side and then you flip the stencil over and do the left brow. So you're not getting like a set of anything. Each stencil does both your brows. But then here's the funny part. I was looking at the instructions and it starts with first and then the rest is in Spanish. The second step is in English. I haven't even read it yet, I'm concerned. The third is English, and then finally, please trim the eyebrows on both sides. You will find yourself not simple. I've never found myself to be simple. So anyway, I think I'm going to go with Queen. Let's play with that and see what happens. Okay, so I've got the Queen stencil here. I'm just popping out the little insert, and then just for fun, I'm going to hold it up to my brow. Okay, I guess that's not, that's not too crazy big compared to what I would normally do. So the idea is you hold it over your brow and then you take their stamping product, their eyebrow powder basically, I think is what it is. And then you go over what's exposed. Oh boy. Okay, so let's look at this. I haven't opened this yet. I'm just saving this moment for you guys. This is color Blonde 01. I know, no, it is this pull up, oh. Okay, so it's this little sponge, and um, I think there's, yep, so you can see the product that's in there. It taps against the sponge when you close it. So I'm going to try to swatch. Please remember I'm limited here because of this hand, but let's swatch on this side with my wrong hand. What does this, oh, okay, uh, well, it's darker than I thought it was going to be. Like, there was a lot of product there. Okay, all right, let's see. Let's see what happens, queens. We're, we're going on with this. Oh boy, okay, I'm gonna try and just hold this up here. <laughs> uh, 
God. Oh, eh. Like you should, I don't know, tape it on your face or something. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. We're doing it. So I'm kind of tapping it along the length. And I feel like I should rub it in or something. I don't, I don't know. Let's see what's happened so far. Uh, okay, not a, not a lot. I mean, it's a little bit of a line. You can see product there. Um, if there's a better way. Oh boy. Um, oh boy. This just feels weird. You guys, I think something interesting to do, though, would be to take your own product, like your own eyebrow stuff that you like, whatever, your go-to pencil or whatever, and try using the shape to see what that does for you. Right now, this is making um, me a little sad. I'm not sure. Let's see. We're going to, that came with these little brushes, so I'm going to. Look in my close-up mirror here and try to just brush the product through, see what that does. I mean, it's not, it's not horrible, but I wouldn't normally choose to leave the house like this. Maybe I should put more on the sponge, put the stamp back on, or the little whatever thing on and try it more here at the base of the oh yeah oh boy we got more <laughs> oh god this is this is frightening oh yeah and then when you run the brush through it it just spreads it everywhere try to show you close up it's not it's not good people it's not good let's see if we can get this off all right it comes off fairly simple which i guess is a good thing for goof ups not such a good thing for all day wear oh boy i don't know what to do like i don't want to do my other brow but here we go so i'm gonna wipe this off So if I don't clean that off, when I reverse it and put that on this side, it's going to spread the product everywhere. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Other side. I mean, it's evenly unsatisfactory. How's that for a, a initial review impression? I'm not sure about this. It maybe I don't know, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's just this particular stencil that is not my first choice. That's okay. So rather than get another stencil out and go over what I've already done. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get another stencil out and go over what I've already done. Okay, we're going in for try number two with the classic shape. All right, all right, so here's the thing. I'm not enjoying what I'm seeing. And I have to leave the house today, so I'm not gonna go out looking like that, cleaning that off. And I'm gonna go over it with, first of all, let me touch up my foundation, which has now been completely cleaned off there, okay? I'm going to use the stencil with my brush, or not my brush, my product. And I'm gonna use the one that goes on pretty waxy. This is the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil in Blonde. And I'm just gonna screw this up again. So I'm just gonna go over it. <laughs> oh boy. I should tape it on, right? I should, I should tape it on. 
That would be so much better. No. New. Okay, so I said I was afraid of these because they looked big, but they're not. They're not big at all. Cleaning this off. And I'm gonna I'm determined to make one of these work today. Alright, third try. This is confident. This is the last one I'm gonna try. I swear this is uh this is probably a bust. So this is more of a um, wider brow and a little more prominent at the start of it here. And then the tail goes out a little longer, I think. Oh, I maybe I need to dip this in there. No, I can't even see. I don't know if you can't see, but I can't even see. Sure is fine. I don't think I'm getting, oh, I guess I am getting a little, oh no. Y'all, they're, they're clear. It's gone. Oh, got it. Mm. I think one thing I'm learning is that you have to screw it in to get the product on there. You can't just dab it down in there. It doesn't make enough contact with the actual product. All right, so let's try this again. Oh my. Oh my. Oh gosh. All right, so I think these are. <laughs> I think these, these are uh, a bust. Yeah, these are a bust. We're taking this stuff off. I don't recommend it. Um, don't waste your money. <laughs> okay, so one caveat for this eyebrow stamping business thing. Um, the directions tell you to, once you put the, they're calling this the eyebrow card, uh, in position, that you're supposed to draw the outline according to the gap with an eyebrow pen dip the eyebrow powder with an eyebrow brush and apply it evenly, then remove the eyebrow card and wipe the edge with your hand or cotton swab. Why does it come with a sponge thing then? Like it looks like you dip in there, like what I was doing. I don't know, I'm, I'm not amused. I feel like the product was really, really uh, powdery going on. It left a lot of unsightly like chunks of powder, I realize eyebrow powder is powdery. I'm not complaining about that. It's what it left behind. It didn't look natural really in any way, shape or form. So we're going to be done with that and move on to the next product to play with. Okay. So now my regular, how I do it non on the normal basis, brows are on. And some of you might be like, well, a girl, the stencils looked a lot better, but okay, that's fine. Whatever. This is leave the house a bowl for me. So now I'm going to try the Clio um, Walking on the Cozy Alley. I, I really don't know what that's supposed to mean. Eyeshadow palette. This is so pretty. I'm going to insert some swatches in a picture for you. It has a little brush that it comes with. It's a double ended brush, really tiny. That's, I suppose you might be able to see it better if I take it out of the wrapper. It's got this tiny, tiny. And, and then on the other end is even smaller, if you can see that. This would be great for doing like inner eye, little dots of shimmer. Um, but I don't think you could really <clears throat> do much with the whole palette with that. And I'm going to try it today without any uh, eyeshadow primer on because I like to test it out and see how well it performs without that. Let's see. I'm going to start. This is my eye is drawn to this one on the bottom. This is cream cookie. So I'm going to start with cream cookie. And then while I have my readers on and can see it right now, uh, then I'm going to put some of 
Okay, I think I'm just going to go with the ones in a row here. So we're going to go with cream cookie, milk caramel, and then vanilla flavor. And I'm just going to take cream cookie and put it all through kind of not only the base of my eyelid, almost all the way up to the brow bone, just to give myself a nice kind of base color. And I do that so that the next layers of color that I put over that have something to blend in nicely too, especially since I don't have any primer, eyeshadow primer on today. All right, that's good. I don't wanna do too much, but I think that that's a nice foundation of color. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the next one up, which is that caramel, it's very pretty. And I'm just gonna do that caramel one in the crease. This is going on very nicely. It's blending really well. And I got a little crazy on the edges, so I'm gonna take a clean brush And I do sometimes dot a little bit of concealer on the outside of the eye to wipe it away, but I wanted to see how nicely this wipe away with just a blank brush and it went really, really well. All right, so now I'm going in with that darker color, which it's like the darkest color in the, in the pan, yet it's called vanilla flavor. And I'm just gonna put this right in that little outside V. Just a real basic look. If you can hear that noise in the background, it's my washing machine. I don't know that I really apologize for it though. It bothers me when YouTubers are apologizing for everything, like the air conditioner kicking on and uh, neighbors mowing. Cause honestly, I can never really hear it in the video. It's like, it's fine. You're just recording a video. It's the middle of the day. Life is happening around you. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so I th I think I really like this. I like the uh, blendability. I like the colors. However, I'm not seeing a lot of distinction, and maybe that's my fault because the colors I picked are so similar. That's all right. Take that blank brush again. Kind of go along the edges. And I'm gonna take the shimmer that's in here and the shimmer, really pretty. It's afternoon coffee. I love it. I love that name and I love an afternoon coffee. And I'm just gonna go in with my finger on that because I don't know how it's gonna respond or behave really yet on my lid. Just a little bit in the center and towards the inner corner. Like it. Light, delicate, gold tone shimmer. It's pretty. That's kind of where we're at with that look. And then I'm gonna take that little tiny brush and I'm gonna go a little bit on the white shade in the corner and just dab here and see how that, yeah, that brush fits in there very nicely. And that just kind of brightens things up a little bit. Makes you look like you got a little bit more sleep than you did, right? Or if you have dry skin, it can get caught up in there and make you look a little crusty. So your choice on whether or not that's a necessary step for you. I like it though, it's pretty, it's a nice look. I think I will definitely try different colors next time. And now I'm just gonna go over really quick with my favorite eyeliner. That's not too bad. Now we are going to get to try another one of the new products, which is the number seven, the full 360 mascara. I wish more mascara places would do browns or black browns. 
it seems like so much anymore the only color available is black and uh I don't know, but having the brown in there softens it just a little bit. This is the packaging. Looks nice. It's a... Uh, what kind of brush are we dealing with here? Oh, it's got that hourglass shape brush. And, oh, wait a minute. Did I get brown? Because, boy, that looks brown. I sure did. I sure did. So here I am running my mouth. I got the black brown. Let's see what this looks like going on. It's got a lot of uh, excess product on the tip. I'm just wiping off, kind of catching a sneak peek in my close up mirror. I am definitely going to do two coats because it's not bad, but it's very light so far. It will make me very happy if when I pull away and look at this in the close up mirror, this isn't clumpy and it hasn't gotten everywhere. Okay, well, one out of two, it's a little clumpy, but it has not gotten over my eyelid. Okay, so I'm gonna go through with my lash comb, which needs wiped off. Mm, I like it. A good mascara should not require a whole lot of work after the fact. It should be able to just swipe on however many layers you want and not require five minutes of cleanup and perfecting. Now granted, some of us will do that anyway. Like I see this tiny little cluster that bothers me, so I'll go in there and run something through it to separate it, but honestly, you would never be able to tell. That's just me being psycho about it. So I like that. That's good. And I 90% of the time only do mascara on the top lashes. So that is uh, what we're sticking with for now. And then finally, we're gonna try this Julep. It's a balm. No, it's balm. B-A-L-M. I see what you did there. Full coverage lip crayon. All right, so this is supposed to be balmy but have some color to it and this is what we're looking at oh it's got the little tip with moisturizing creamy goodness in there and i'll do a little swatch for you even though i'm the right-handed okay so what's that look like oh that's a horrible swatch let me do a little bit more intentional here i don't know that's kind of pinkish, weirdish, I don't know, just put it on, put it on your lips. Oh, oh, that's more than I expected. That's a lot more than I expected. Oh God, I don't know. Okay, well let's, Let's talk good things first. Not a strong taste, not a real strong fragrance. There's nothing that's really like off-putting about it. I probably would prefer a lighter color because I just want something that's not gonna leave a lot of color on days like today, but is still moisturizing and Looks like I have something on my lips. Now this is a little more intense than I normally do. Let's try the old tissue trick and take off just a little bit of it, right? Is that better? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm gonna play with it. I'm gonna continue to wear it today. And we'll see. Maybe it's that it's contrasting with my eyeshadow. I thought the shadows were a little more brown, but boy, I tell you, putting this lipstick on, it makes them look orangey. There's, there's so much about color theory that I don't know, and um, I don't pretend to know. But I do pretend 
to think that this might be the wrong color. Anyway, we're going to see how this goes. So that's it for stuff I have to try today. And I will come back at the end and let you know how the shadow wore and what my final thoughts are on this balm, this julep balm. So stick around. I'm going to give you an update. Hey guys, okay, so clearly this is not the same day that I recorded that video. Uh, I did an end of day video and the file got corrupted. So um, just wanted to jump on and even though it's a couple days later, I share my thoughts on some of those products with you. That Clio Shadow Palette was really nice. Um, for not having put primer on underneath it, I was impressed with how it lasted through the day, especially the shimmer shade. It looked like it was freshly applied, applied uh, up to the minute that I washed my face that night. And then the number three, number seven, 360 mascara, that was great. No flex, no smudges, nothing like that at all. And I've worn it a couple of days again since then. Um, and I'm so happy with it. So that's definitely a keeper. That Julep lip balm though, I don't know, man. I think that was, uh, I think that was just a bad color choice for me. It's too cherry red and I wasn't a fan of it. It was hard for me to, um, keep seeing it when I was going for such a simple look and it was like, oh, look, your lips are bright red. So anyway, uh, it did stain the lips. So after I would eat or it had been a couple hours would go by, um, the sheen would go away, but the color was still there to a certain extent. And I had to keep applying lip balm over it or like a gloss over it just for comfort purposes. So there's that. As long as it's a color that you like, then having your lips stained like that for the day is fine. But uh, I'll probably just pass mine on to a friend. So anyway, if you've watched all the way to the end, thank you so much. I'm so glad to have you guys here watching these videos and I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.